Hi, I'm Victoria Edgecombe here at the World Biomarkets reporting for WBM TV. So can you tell us what are the unique selling points of your technology? Let me first introduce very briefly the company. Clarent is a specialty chemical company and we have two main pillars which is innovation and sustainability. Within our portfolio we have a technology which is called Sun Liquid which uh, produces uh, lignocellulosic biofuels, mainly uh, lignocellulosic ethanol. And the main uh, selling proposition is that we use uh, an integrated uh, on-site enzyme and microorganism production uh, which uh, enables us to um, use uh, a portion of the feedstock being used for the process uh, as a carbon source to these enzymes and microorganisms which are tailor-made to the feedstock purpose. So this brings in flexibility, it brings in cost cutting, so the, one of the major concerns on this uh, process was the cost of these enzymes. With this solution uh, we really bring in the cost uh, of the enzymes to a very low level, uh, making this technology solution viable and competitive versus first generation. And what are the latest developments in your technology? Uh, last year has been uh, for the whole sector a turning uh, point year. Um, some of the um, uh, companies have gone on stream and commercial size. We have developed uh, a, what we call a, a process design package uh, early 2014. This is the first pillar that enables customers to go into detailed engineering and uh, uh, construct their own uh, plant. And we got closer to the usage of the final product, Lignocellulosic, with a partnership together with uh, um, Halterman and Mercedes-Benz. So we've been using our Sun Liquid uh, Lignocellulosic ethanol uh, produced from our demonstration plant in Germany as a 20% blend in these uh, Mercedes-Benz cars which are running uh, in Germany and which uh, were able to bring uh, impressive results uh, on the usability of this fuel in standard cars. So in terms of legislation, how is that changing and how will that impact on your company? As I said at the beginning, uh, innovation and sustainability are our two uh, pillars within Clarenta. I would focus on the sustainability uh, factor. Uh, we've seen uh, a very good development in legislation uh, um, which brings in a greater impact on sustainability and focus on advanced biofuels. Uh, there is um, the RAD and the fuel quality directive which are currently being uh, uh, modified, uh, putting a cap on first generation uh, biofuels and uh, incentivizing second generation biofuels which is what we produce. Uh, so this is a very important development. Uh, in the next weeks uh, uh, there should be a final revision uh, of this legislation which brings in uh, a positive, uh, very positive outcome for our biofuels. What we do need to, to see is the focus on uh, beyond 2020 targets. That's uh, what really the industry needs to um, have more uh, plants come on stream uh, in, in the world. So very positive development on, on our side.